fuck. <laughs> What's up? How are you? Bonjour. Welcome back to the show the universe loves. Timo's Cruise to Mars. I'm your host, Timo Cruz. Boom, boom. We're about to cruise to Mars, and today we got the Girl Scout cookies by the dopest. Shout out to Dopest Yola and the dopest. Um, you know, I've been smoking them for a while. Yesterday we had our first kind of campfire video, and today we're going to do kind of a second one. Um, also, people liked the kind of classical music in the background, so I kind of have that going lately right now. Um... Hopefully it's not too loud or distracting for you guys. But I also have this lighter that my brother got me. It's actually a torch. So shout out to my little brother, Ben, man. That's my fucking guy. Um, he's been doing really good lately. So I hope he just keeps getting better. Both of them, both my brothers actually doing really good lately. Um, I'm not sure. I like want to talk about them sometimes. But then again, it's like, I feel like it's not exactly uh a great idea because of just what the channel is about you know what i mean and they're a little young so i don't necessarily want to like bring them around that and have them you know what i mean i didn't smoke for the longest time and i don't think you should when you're young you know what i mean you should probably smoke a little bit older when you're probably like uh my first time i think was 17 you know and i mean that's that's pretty good i was also graduating early and I had half days, I had like four or five classes, you know, my senior year. So that was my, you know what I mean? Um, I guess we can talk about that. So boom, let's go ahead and crack this open and talk about school for a minute. Off the rip, smells like a dopest joint. Did I say blunt earlier? Ooh, you know what? This. Oh man, that smells fire. Um, the Keith on these I'm gonna say I did not say to take the keef off <laughs> and the keef on these is like a lot lower now I think it is pretty nice um I thought maybe more people would kind of like less keef but apparently a lot, a lot of people like the keef it is cool um I just think you shouldn't bring it all the way down to the finger you know maybe bring it like a little bit up here and then you know what I mean I'm gonna go ahead and say normally these joints themselves are about an eight and a half and then each one i smoke at the very least flavor wise and everything um i think the lowest we've had is like a six so this is the girl scout cookies i keep these things i give them to my friends whoever i smoke with whatever if anyone wants to smoke soon let me fucking know there's some people i know i've been wanting to smoke with i've just been like i don't even know fucking bullshit so I do need to do it. I want to smoke with someone today, but I was like, I don't know. I, I don't know what everybody's up to, so I guess I'm smoking alone again, and that's quite all right. <sighs> smoking with you guys, and you guys are smoking with me. So here we go. Cruise to Mars like it's 12.01. If you want merch in the description, by the way, boom, boom. You already know what it is. It's pretty fucking sick. Um, pretty soon I'm actually going to be teaming up with um, my mom and she's gonna be doing a lot of my own stuff in the house, which is gonna be pretty sick, I think, you know what I mean? So, that'd be pretty cool, you know? Get everybody in on everything, you know what I'm saying? I went in, uh, you know what, I'm gonna like this really quick, hold up. I've also been contemplating again, smoking, just like yesterday, I was like, so I think what I'm gonna do, no one really said, but tomorrow, I might not smoke at all. You know what I mean? I might just have a chill day tomorrow. I'll be like, completely, completely, boom. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna figure it out. But back to school. Now, when I was in school, I tried to pay attention. I tried to do all my stuff. Um, I got into a lot of classes that I shouldn't have been in, pretty much as like a freshman, that were like junior, senior classes. And I started out kind of good and then I got kind of like lazy and that's something I guess I need to just get over you know it's like I start out really fucking good really fucking well boom 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 and then I kind of like it lazy but at least it's kind of like okay well I was doing so well but I'm still ahead and now I can pick it back up you know what I mean but I need to stop doing that it's like slow and steady you know slow and steady slow and steady so I still have been working out every single day praying 
um, doing my meditation, doing my morning, you know, routine, all that type of stuff. Which smoking every day is actually one of the things on there, you know what I'm saying? Um, smoking is actually supposed to be good for you in some ways, although not in every way, so just, you know, be careful. I was talking, okay, this was in camera class, okay, for some context. Now, the teacher kind of looked like me, right, an older, um, an older bald gentleman. White dude, good guy. He, um, he's a real good guy. But honestly, I said something to someone that actually I was really close with, and I probably changed, you know, the course of things. I was in class with these two girls, right? Super cool. Talking all the time, whatever, boom, boom, boom. So me and these girls, this is freshman year four. Mm, no, this is sophomore year. Sophomore year. I'm talking to these girls, camera class, boom, boom, boom. One of them, she's a little bit taller. The other one, she's a little bit shorter. All right, so we're just gonna go with that. Not gonna get too complicated with it. One's taller, a little more slender. One's a little shorter. Boom, simple. So the one that's taller, I wouldn't say I was necessarily flirting with her. And if I was, it wasn't necessarily on purpose. But I didn't think she looked good. I didn't try and talk to her. Now, at the time, I guess her boyfriend had gotten mad. And he was, like, kind of a big shot kind of guy, right? I was just talking to her, right? I didn't know. I didn't even know she had a boyfriend. And uh, from there, it was like, okay. Well, what's up? And it was like, hmm. You know? I guess I, I think she was gone for, like, a week or two, right? She, like, went somewhere or something, and then she comes back, and I was like, oh, dude, I missed you. And all of a sudden, I hear, like, a week later, she's, like, mad. And I was like, hmm, I don't know why you're mad. But then, like, her boyfriend randomly comes up to me, and he was like, hey, it's my girl, bro. And I was like, oh, all right. He was like, well, I don't want to put him out there like that. But basically, that's what he said. And I guess he wasn't in the wrong, necessarily. Could have handled it a little bit better. I didn't really do or say much. I was just like, all right, man, cool. And for some reason, that just wasn't enough. So to this day, I still haven't really talked to them. And it sucks. But it's like, you know what I mean? Usually people set a boundary and I just don't cross it, you know? Now, don't get me wrong. I fucking love to cross that fucking boundary. This was another time. It's kind of a weird random fucking story. This is, I don't even know why this came into my mind. I was just talking about school. But the other girl, right, shorter one, we were really cool. I was actually closer with her at first. And then the other one kind of came in and started talking more and they became like really close. So this other girl, the shorter one, closer with her, talking to her a lot, helped me out with all of the stuff. And there's a lot of stuff we learned, more we could have, you know, but it was pretty nice. Falling a little bit, which does kind of stink. Usually I push them in and that kind of helps. It's looking pretty good, I believe. This is tasting pretty good. It doesn't necessarily have like... The dopest kind of always tastes like a dopest joint, which is good. I just... I'm not getting it all, man. Sometimes I can, and sometimes I just don't. So I don't know why. But what I am doing... Is still helping every single person I can. As much as I can. Right? Maybe not as much as I can. I should do more. And I just need to get in that space again where I'm just locked in. You know what I mean? And I'm just flowing through everything. 
uh, but it's coming soon. We're still growing every single day. If you want to join the community, the Discord, it's in the description. Like I said, the merch is in the description. Um, shout out to the dopest. Um, go ahead and check them out. Like, they're fucking really fucking good. Once again, shout out to my little brother. Because I'm going to fucking torch this bitch. So, anyway, with her, she was cool. And I was like, damn, I always thought she was like really sick. And I yelled at her one time and I feel bad for it. And I felt bad for it when I did it. She was like saying something, saying something, saying something, saying something. And I would just take it, you know, I'm always the guy. I just, I'm just I don't know, like, either way, I called her a bitch and I like yelled it, like right in her face. She was saying something, I was like, Boom said her name, and I was like, you're a bitch. And right when I was going to say it, I was like, you're... The teacher was like, no. Like you could see, you know, it was like, if you ever seen the movie um, A Christmas Story, and he's like, oh, fudge. And he's like, but I didn't say fudge. And then his dad's like, what did you just say? And he's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> So, with that, yes, that is uh, definitely, definitely one of those times, you know what I mean, where I, it felt good to do it and just be like, you're, you know what I mean, but I feel bad. I felt bad instantly. I was like, you're a fucking bitch. And everyone kind of was like, oh, she's just gonna... but it was like, you're not really a bitch. You know, I just, I said that out of spite. And I shouldn't have. I've never formally apologized to her. And I don't know if I'll ever talk to her soon again. But I won't apologize to her. As well as the other girl and the boyfriend. Because my first time, I went to homecoming, right? The girl wanted to dance on me and I said, no. And she was like, why? And I said, because you have a boyfriend. And she was like, whoa. Right, apparently that made her want me even more. And then I dated her for a while. Actually, a long time. But the point is that I fucking feel bad. And I'm sorry. And I guess that's just my guilty conscience. You know, talking. It's like, hey, you have kind of fucked up in the past. You're not a perfect person. I don't want to make myself out to be that. Because I'm not. You know, show your good, show your bad, share your experience with people. I'm gonna say this. High school, everyone wishes they could do it over. So if you're in high school or you're going through high school right now, fucking put your all into that shit. Because even though I graduated early, and had half years, the only thing I did was everything I should have. I even failed one, I failed one class. I never skipped a single, a single class in my whole, ever. Never did. Now I was in detention before, shit like that, but never skipped a fucking class, ever. Even though I didn't pay attention. I did fail one. And basically after I failed the first semester, I was like, why even try in the second? Like, like what? Yeah, I'm failed, like you're fucking, you're a joke. And honestly, the funny thing is, is, it was like my favorite subject. It was math. So I was like, what the fuck? Math and science are my favorite subjects. Which is weird because, well, I guess I kind of do everything now. But I was going to say, English and history I used to not like. And now they're like some of my main things that I do. Especially with music, you know what I mean? But math and science as well, I've always loved. I also love chilling in the gym and doing like calisthenic stuff and everyone should really be doing that you know the calisthenic stuff maybe i'm gonna put that in the description you know what i mean chris Haria, his workout the one that i use every single morning i have my own and i'm actually gonna put my own in the community so if you guys want to join the community you can check out what we're about my about info put your about info so we can know who you are um you know what i mean all that type of stuff you can vote on like whatever we'll do this 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 you know what i mean do you like 
hard lighters or soft lighters? Do you like joints or blunts? You know, we just have little fun shit. I don't know. Little community, little things, little stuff going on, growing every single day, just like we've been, you know? People that used to, like, beat me in video games, I made it my mission to, like, fucking destroy them. Like, my cousin used to beat my ass in this game, War of the Monsters. And then I did this, I became the monster he became that used to bully me, right? And then I bullied him, and he was like, I can't do anything. And I was like, yeah, it doesn't feel fucking good. <laughs> but at the same time, and then I learned too when you're older like like yeah I can fucking whoop anyone in Mortal Kombat but does that mean I should whoop every single person as hard as I can like no that's fucking weird why why would I do that you know so things have been going pretty great lately you know there is some weird like weather and stuff going on so I hope everyone out there is safe honestly or if you're not used to some stuff you know what I mean just just stay safe Yola dope is Yola he's doing a meet and greet Texas pretty soon Fuck, I'd love to go. I'd fucking love it, dude. Maybe win some shit, you know what I'm saying? I definitely want to go to Vegas to do the Vegas trip with him. Oh my god. Here. I'd love it. You know, meet him, get him on the vlog. Like I said, bring all the boxes and shit. Man. Crazy. Either way, Eric Khan too. Eric Khan's fucking dope. Imagine if they were both there. Eric Khan's always in Vegas, I'm sure. But, um... Yeah, like I said, man, if, if you're in school right now, just keep going. Push through it because if you don't, it's not going to make things easier. Put it that way. You know what I mean? Like, do I need my you know, like degree all the time? No, but if you pay attention, it helps. Now, that doesn't mean all the time, you know what I mean? Because it is what it is, you know, just like they say. A students work for C students. B students work for the government. Now, I've been all those students. Done all those jobs. And what I will say is the best way that I have found to take control as much as you can is to follow your heart. And as long as, long as it's for the right reason, That's it, you know? You know, well, and you're not hurting anybody or yourself or, you know what I mean, something like that. But just keep going. And it's it's hard to get really specific. I can't be like, oh, well, would this teacher do this? Because I don't know your situation. But just take that, you know? Take that to heart. Follow your heart. Then that's it. Just never stop. Never stop. And don't put too much pressure on yourself, you know what I mean? You got to put things out there even if they're not perfect. But at the same time, you should still be the hardest on yourself. You know what I mean? You should be. So you should be like, fuck, I gotta, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. Boom, boom, boom. And then you just, you gotta say one, two, three, four, five. Boom, do it, you know? That's what this campfire is about. It's not, it's not just all stories, but there is some stories. And I do want to end this with a story. I don't think I can get it really like that. Actually, what's a really good one? Oh, I need, I want something nice. But that's not like super long, you know? So we're almost done. Man, life was so wild as a kid. I, I just took everything for granted. Like, I had everything and lost it. You know? I mean, really, I was young. It wasn't necessarily my fault, but like, you know, it is what it is. I think that. We all kind of make most mistakes, and as long as you own up to them, they kind of unravel themselves in a way, you know what I mean? Like, for the most part, you know. Now, a band-aid doesn't necessarily fix a broken plate, right? But you can put the, the pieces back together, you know? And as long as you're doing the right thing for the right reason, and you're in the right place and the right mindset, you, you're probably on the right path. <laughs> now I know that's a lot of rights but just just go just go just go you know just do it that's the best kind of stuff I could say with this little like light background music and stuff so that's my advice for the day make sure you pick up something in your room make your bed I actually wash my sheets and everything today so I gotta make mine when I go back and 
I wish everyone an amazing what's tomorrow Wednesday so you'll be seeing this so Thursday I hope you had amazing Wednesday Tuesday and your Thursday goes even more amazing I actually I had a flat tire today and I went and I reached out to my people my boy at a uh, discover auto out here so shout out to them thank you for that thank you for that really helped me out you never know when you might need someone else you know what I mean like you never want to burn a bridge you always want to keep things going now my 12 days of Christmas thing next year like I said or this year now is going to be a lot bigger and a lot better because we're going to we're going to spend a lot more so we can get a lot more and we're going to share it with a lot more people and I want some of y'all to be a part of it so like the people now that are in the comments and shit like I said y'all are the elders right by the end of the year and then next year next year next year so we're just going to keep growing and in 5, 10, to 10 years this, this is going to be insane in 20 years it's going to be crazy maybe I won't give another story maybe I'll save them because I have some written down I just don't necessarily want to be like boom 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 you know what I mean I have to play with my brother this game that we're playing as well as um I have to start some D&D stuff like I said in the last video I used to kind of like play a little bit and now I'm like yeah I guess you could say we're into this you know what I mean <laughs> so boom oh, you know what just reminded me of something looking back for some reason I don't know why it reminded me of this there's one time I was walking outside. Actually, I'm gonna get two stories really quick. I used to walk to the bus, and maybe it was like a five minute walk, right? There's one time I step outside, ice. Everywhere I look, ice. What? I've never seen that happen before. What? Never have I ever seen that happen before, right? Just ice? So, there's ice everywhere. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Right? And. With all this ice, I can't barely walk. Like, I can't lift my feet up. So I have to slide my feet, like, shimmy them. And that's how I have to fucking walk to the bus. So it takes me, like, twice the amount of time, right? And they, the bus sees me because I was running late already, sadly, right? There was a couple times I was late in the mornings. But I was doing so much, I promise you. I fucking was doing a lot of fucking shit. Like, I would get home, I'd sweep, I'd mop, I'd clean the bathroom, I'd clean another room. And then I fucking do the. I do dishes sometimes. I won't always do dishes, but I do dishes sometimes. Um, I do boom, boom, boom. You know all this stuff. Blah, blah, blah. And it was just like a lot. And I was always really tired. And then I have to do homework. And then the only time I could go and really chill with my friends was on the Xbox. You know. And I didn't smoke. I didn't do anything. So like I was just chilling. And. I think there's been a lot of times where like I've wanted to do something and help people and I realized like now later that I would have been the one to actually like change you know for the better if if I did it you know and I, I, I at least I feel like that maybe you shouldn't feel like that but at the same time like it's that guilty conscience, like, damn, I should have did something. Just because I shouldn't, I'm, like, you know, guilty of not helping. And that's not something I want to be. And I, I, I don't know. I, it's like you can't, you know, you can't do anything. There's so many people, it's like, damn, where would they be now if they were still here? And that's another thing I want to say is, in the community, there's, um, just, like, uh, Corella Morgan's kind of community There's like hey man you guys are all cool You can talk here boom 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 super sick I'm in a few different kind of communities But I'm not super active on discord I want to be more active And I should be because If you guys are going to be joining then you know what I mean So what I'm going to have to do is start looking out And being like hey yeah you guys are on discord Sick let's fucking talk you know what I mean And we'll just do that and we'll just, we'll just chat it up whatever i don't know i'll announce some stuff like hey today i'm doing this or what do you guys want to see today and maybe have a vote and i'll think of like three different things and then you guys can help me because sometimes it's like damn what do you guys want to see like i don't know like, what do you guys want so 
we're definitely gonna gonna be rocking with that. Oh, the other bus story. So the other time, well, the other one, I guess, it, it was just it was super icy. Put it that way. Like if you could imagine ice, it looked like I don't even know. Like like the whole ground was just covered in ice everywhere. You couldn't walk. You could barely drive. It was so bad. I think it cleared up by afternoon, but it, it was bad. Like, in the morning, it was really bad. There was another morning, though, I want to say. There was two deer that walked up, right? Right next to the bus stop. It was me, um, one of my friends who's, like, a neighbor um, down the street, sort of, was there. And, yeah, two deer just walk up. And we're like, what the fuck? And they're just there. And it was like, no fucking way you know like no way and with that they just kind of like end up walking away into the woods and it was so weird so i don't know if that's just a wisconsin thing like you just see random fucking animals popping out and shit but just right there at the bus stop these fucking two deer pull up and they're like damn it was pretty fucking funny it was like I don't know. There was another time too. I was in LA, and this girl saw—I think it was a fox or a coyote. Nah, I think it was a coyote actually. And she was like, "Aren't you scared?" And I was like, "What, dude? It's a fucking coyote." And she was like, uh, "I don't know. Like, it's a coyote." And I was like, "So? <laughs> what? What do you mean? Like, I don't know. Coyote. Everything's more scared of you than you are. You know." Gotta remain strong at all times. And it's fucking hard sometimes. It really fucking is. But as long as you do your due diligence, you'll make it through. You know, you'll make it past. You'll pass all your tests, baby. I'm telling you, you will. I'm telling you, you will. Because I know it. I've been through it. I promise you, you will. I promise you, you will. Just keep going. And that's it. Just keep going. How do you guys like the red background as well? Because there's the purple, there's the red. Could do blue. I used to do red, then I tried out the purple. I like it, but maybe I should go back to it. I don't know. I'm thinking. There's a lot of different kind of things I'm thinking about, you know. So, really, we'll see. This used to be, like, one of my favorite songs growing up. I got a bunch of new books, actually, too. Um, not only did I get some D&D &D stuff, but I got a couple other books that I'm going to be checking out. Um, one of them actually is right here <clears throat> that I've been wanting for a while. Beautiful and damned. Thumbnail. So, beautiful and damned. First time I heard about it, I believe, was from G-Eazy, his album, Beautiful and Damned, right? And kind of going through the whole story, and it's really cool, really sick. So I actually want to read the book now myself. Um, and I could just kind of do like the Amazon kind of thing. But I actually wanted to have the physical book. I got some other things. I got a new journal, a nice one, because I really want to take, like, some writing stuff, like, pretty serious, you know what I mean? So, boom, boom, boom. We're going to have some nice shit coming. I don't want to show you guys right now, but in the future, you guys will see and kind of know more, you know what I'm saying? But thank you guys so much for watching. I feel like that's been more than enough, probably, for the day. Uh, I didn't really exactly have a plan for the day. I just kind of went with it. I really want to smoke with somebody, but it's like the whole tire thing kind of threw me off track with that. I did get it fixed though. So we're all good. Tomorrow we'll pick it back up. We'll smoke with some fucking people, man. I really want to smoke with someone I love. You know what I mean? Because normally I don't be smoking. I don't like to smoke alone as much. Smoking alone sometimes is nice. Enjoying a nice blunt, some coffee, some tea. Just chilling, talking, looking at the stars, looking at the ocean, looking at those fucking whatever, right? Looking at the fucking trees. What the fuck you do? You know what I'm saying? Looking at whatever. And just being like, damn, this is peaceful. Got a little classic music in the background. That's the fucking life. At least for the time being, right? There's a time to go and there's a time to chill. Well... Get it going, baby.
this is pretty great. I'm gonna go ahead and probably say this one, just like the last one. Um, I said what, like six five? That's what I say. Well, okay. I don't want to say that because that sounds bad. But think about this: six point five is above average. Now, they put a lot into this weed, so maybe that's too harsh. Maybe I should say it's an eight because. They do put a lot. The packaging is amazing. The keef on there, they put a lot of fucking product in it. You know what I'm saying? Um, they use the raw cones, which I really like. Normally, I don't have to relight them, but right now, I'm just kind of smoking it weird. It's also mad cold, which could, you know, probably not help. Where's hotboxing right now? Holy fuck. I don't want to smoke and drive. I did that in one video. Get a little smoky in my eyes, baby. Fuck. A few more. And then we'll have tried them all, and then we have another one to smoke while we do the whole grating. But I'm going to try and at least smoke one with someone else tomorrow. I still have the one where I wanted to randomly find a girl and smoke with her as the wedding cake one. And then see, be like, hey, does, does this taste like wedding cake? Does it not? And obviously it's a joke. You know, it's funny. But... It's, um, you know, the wedding cake one, so I want to be like, yo, you trying to get married right now and smoke this fucking joint? Hey, but if not, fuck it, I'll smoke it alone. I don't give a shit. Either way, though, I'm having a good time, and I hope everyone else is too, and that's pretty much how I'm going to end it. Like I said, this one's kind of weird because I'm trying to do this new thing, but also... I'm trying to copy other people's like story thing by doing it on my own. So I want to do a campfire type thing, which isn't going to be just stories. Sometimes it will be, but I also want it to be still normal tips and stuff, which is what we're about, right? We're not just about this or this. We're also about the community and the help and the peace. Um, and that's a big part of us. I'm Timo Cruz. Fuck it. We're Timo Cruz. You know, we just cruise to Mars. The host of Timo's Cruise to Mars. How the fuck? Did I miss that? <laughs> so, I'm Timo Cruise, your host of Timo's Cruise to Mars. We just cruise to Mars. This is the show the universe loves, but it's not the only show the universe loves. Remember that. You can start your own, you can build your own shit too. I use other people as an example, so if you want to use me as one, I would be very glad. Very glad. That, that means a lot to me. To be like, damn, you came from, like, what? That's fucking sick. I love that shit. That's what I want. I want to be the one that inspired people. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be the one that's inspiring the one if I'm not. But the fact that I already have that mindset, I think, just is like, I do want to be the one. You know what I mean? I do want to be the one. Not, like, the one, but, like, I want to be more in the loop of things than on the outside, you know? Now, there's a certain extent you have to go. Because being like the top of its top totem pole, you know what I mean? You got a lot of responsibility. But being on the bottom, it's like, I feel like it's no fun. You know what I mean? So, you gotta go somewhere where you can really put your heart into it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm about to go work with my boys. You know? Over at their smoke shop. Actually, I saw them, and I was gonna get some videos in there, and I forgot to, but shout out to them. Um, the Puff Palace. You know, shout out to all of them. Fuck with all of them. Oh, the whole family. The whole family. Um, I don't know if they want to be in or not, so I'm not gonna say any more than that, but... If they do, uh, totally cool. But they did say they're fine with me recording in the store itself, so cool. Next time we'll do that. I did in another video, but you know what it is. So pretty much, man, that's a, that's about it. But shout out to them, Puff Palace, and shout out to everyone else. That's been helping me out recently. A lot of people, I saw another lady earlier. She um, backed out accidentally with uh i was filling up gas and she had the gas nozzle still in her car and was pulling off boop it fell off i was like whoa 
I never seen it before. I was like, damn, no gas or anything was popping out. Luckily, because the way they clip on, I suppose, is a safety feature, so it must have them before. Um, we went in, and I vouched for her, you know what I mean? <laughs> or I was there for her, I mean, not necessarily vouched for her. But I was like, yeah, you know, it's an accident. And she was like, oh, they know me here. I was like, oh, okay. I still want to be like, hey, like, you know, she, she didn't mean to do this, and you want me to put it back in? You want me to just leave it? They're like, ah, just leave it. So, all right, cool. But, yeah. So I've been trying to give back now even more than I normally would because normally I would have been like, damn, you're kind of, damn. But no, now it's like, hey, like, hey. So it's like, speak up. If you see something, say something. So I'm going to go. I'm going to play with my brother some of these games. Um, not sure if my mom wants to play too, but maybe. We'll see. And then I'm going to get this ready for tomorrow so I can get it all edited and everything morning upload and then tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have the dopest fucking day you know just like yola said the dopest fucking day but it's gonna be 1201 right cruise to mars 1201 am i wearing it right now fuck yeah fuck yeah i am but this is a different one actually it doesn't say 1201 <laughs> never mind <laughs> um I'm always wearing my shit. You know, we're committed. Got the denim jacket every single day. Cruise to Mars one. It's just crazy. I really... Hmm. There's some things I, I definitely have to do. I definitely have to do. We're getting there. We're fixing everything little by little and getting to that point where it's like, okay, now we're good. I am going to specifically write down some stories, I think, for tomorrow, because I think that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I think that makes sense. Let me go ahead. Finish smoking this in my own piece. Thank you all for joining me, smoking with me. Tomorrow, there should be someone else here smoking with us. Our little co-star, our guest. Fuck yeah. Fucking excited, right? Fuck yeah. Let's do our final hit. Au revoir. A bientôt. See you tomorrow. In the next daily vlog. We just cruised to Mars, baby. Make sure you get home safe. This is blowing my face off. I will say that. Holy. Fuck yeah, look at that. I get their heart racing Look up to me like a star chasing Yeah, I'm number one, that's a star placing So if you're hungry, better start raising Uh, I'm on top, where are y'all at? Say I'm not, well, tell me where I fall at Uh, cause when I come, they'll fall back Try to knock it out the park, where the bet and ball at? How you gonna say that I can't make it? Motherfucker, how I will and I won't fake it And then what I do, they'll just try and bank it Stab you in the back with a broken shank it, uh Let me enjoy my privacy I'ma turn this whole thing into a dynasty I really don't know why y'all be trying me But I'ma prove you all wrong before I'ma leave, yeah Fuck that, I need motivation Fuck that, I need motivation Won't look back, I'm overtaken Won't look back, I'm overtaken Climb to the top, but no, they hate it Climb to the top, but no